Hey guys, it's me again, Joel, you say reader, and welcome to another video. Happy, happy Valentine's Day, and for today, I am going to show you my collections for the books that won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. In case you don't know what the Pulitzer Prize is, it's actually a award-giving body. It's composed of um, 20 categories, and one of these categories is the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, which is being awarded to books. Um, this has been running since 1917. It was founded by Joseph Pulitzer. And yeah, for today, I am really excited to share to you guys my collection for the books that will on the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. I've been collecting this for years now, and I can't believe that when I try to rearrange my shelf, I can't believe that I have a lot <laughs> of books and I've read only a portion of these collections. I haven't read all of them. The books that will win on this year were actually the book that was published on the previous year. So if you've seen a copyright of 1939, that means that book it will be eligible for the Pulitzer Prize for 1940. I'm going to present to you guys the books from the oldest down to most recent books that was uh, were published. As I try to remember, most of these books, a uh, majority of these books I got from either Shopee or book sales. We'll dive right into The Art Town by Thornton Wilder and this one was published in 1939 and this one won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1940. I have read this last year and it made me really cry. So in case you're looking for a book that will make you very emotional and will make you think a lot of things about life, I highly suggest you need to pick Art Town by Thornton Wilder. This is actually really short and this one was written on a script for a play on, and it's composed of three acts. The third and final act is the real deal and that's where I really cried so hard. Uh, yeah, highly suggest you need to pick this one up. I got this from book sale for 20 pesos only. The most famous one I think and this is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And if you're going to ask me what this book is all about, I don't know. I haven't read this one yet. Uh, uh, I just picked this one because it was famous and then I want it to be part of my collection. That's basically the my explanation for most of the books that I have here that I haven't read yet. Next one I have here is Jane Smiley, The Out a Thousand Acres. This was published in 1981 and it won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1992. I got this also from Shopee. Next book I have here is a book that was adapted to a movie and this is Annie Prologue's The Shipping News and this one I don't know um, this one was published in 1993 so this book won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction in 1994 if you're going to ask me what this book is all about I have no idea but let me see it based on the first two lines when oil two tiny white are just desserts he retreats with his two daughters sounds if i'm just going to base it on the first two sentences it sounds like a domestic thriller the next book i have here is the stone diaries by carol shield this one was published in 1984 and won the pulitzer prize in 1995. um this is a book that i also don't have any idea what the story is all about uh, as long as I saw a winner of Pulitzer Prize logo or sticker on the cover I, and I checked my shelf, oh, I still don't have the one, I'm going to purchase it as long as it's also on a reasonable price. Empire Falls by Richard Rosso. I believe this was also um, adapted into a movie. The Pulitzer Prize in 2001 or 2002 because this one was published in 2001. It's Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides and this is a UK edition I think because this is from Nuff. I'm not sure if I pronounced that properly. The next book I have here on my collection is going to be Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. This one was published in 2004 and this one won the Pulitzer Prize in 2005. Um, again, I don't really have any idea what this book is all about, but I'm really, really happy that I got this from book sale for only 60 pesos. 
The next book I have here is finally a book that I have read last two years, 2019. And this is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And I am also sure that this one was adapted into a movie. And I've seen the movie also before I've read the book. But I don't, I actually don't really have any idea that that movie that I watch is actually an adaptation of this book. I just realized it when I was halfway of the book and I was Oh, this one sounds familiar. I think I saw this one already in the movie, and then I tried to search on Google, and I just found out that, yeah, that was the same story, the, the movie and the book. And basically, after reading it, I was already spo- spoiled, I, and I already know what happens in the ending, because I, can, I still remember how the story ended in the movie. But anyway, regardless of the spoilers that the movie cost me, and my ignorance of not knowing that I already know the story before reading it. I still really love this book. I remember I gave this five stars because of the, the uh, principles or uh, the difference, uh, how this the book differentiates uh, the um, how a person who has not experienced life yet in a form of a child and a person who has experienced life in already in a form of and the father, how they see world in the middle of the apocalypse or the post-apocalypse differently. And it is really mind-blowing. It's the brief, wondrous life of Oscar Wao uh, by Jonathan Diaz. This one won last 2008 and this one was published in 2007. Um, this is a story about an, an American who is an immigrant. He came from South America and he tried to live a life or try to f- make a life in America and that's basically what I know so I am expecting that there will be racism there will be um, a lot of privileges that will not be fair for immigrants in the US I don't know I'm just really assuming I haven't read this one guys but I have heard a lot of good things about that so please if you read that tell me how was it and please convince me to pick that as soon as possible the next book I have here is a winner of Pulitzer Prize, A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. This one, I think this one won af- around after 2010. No, this was published in 2010 and it won the Pulitzer Prize in 2011. Yeah, it's really insightful and I can't really wait to pick this book. I believe this was also adapted recently into a movie. And it's also kind of famous because of the author, Donna Tartz, The Goldfinch. And this is a hardcover copy that I got for 90 pesos from Big Bad Wolf here in Cebu. Uh, it, I found this on the Treasure Island. If, you, uh, if you've been in the Big Bad Wolf here in Cebu, they have this Treasure Island where they're selling all the books there for 90 pesos. So it's like a ukay ukay. This is a treasure. Um, I got this and I was really happy. But I was really surprised of how big and how long this book is. That's why I haven't picked this one yet. This one won the Pulitzer Prize in 2014 because this was published was 2013. So um, in case you uh, want to know what this book is all about, I have no idea. But based on what I know, uh, saw on the trailer of the movie and based on... What I can still remember after reading the synopsis is actually a story that we're following our main character. He is an orphan and his mom got killed in a bombing, uh, in one of the bombings in the museum. They were actually visiting the museum and they were really watching this painting, I think, the goldfinch. And there was a bombing and his mom died and he stole the, I think he stole the painting. And yeah, it was actually Ansel Elgort who played the the main uh, the main character. The next book I have here is a book I have read already, which I'm really proud. And this was, was published last 2014 and won the Pulitzer Prize in 2015. And this is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. And you know, guys, I if you've been following my uh, my channel I have read this book last year and it was amazing it is not for everyone because there are, I can see a lot of reasons why 
some people will not enjoy reading this book, but I personally did. What I really like about this book, it was the writing style of the author. It was really beautiful. The prose was one of its kind. It's my, actually my first time to um, read a book with this kind of prose. It was really beautiful. Uh, it is not that lyrical or flowery. It was borderline, but it was enough to, to make the book stand out when it comes to writing style. Um, we are following our main two characters, uh, our two main characters, which is a French girl and a German boy who joined uh, the uh, the army. Uh, yeah, we are following their perspectives during World War II in France. So it's going to be tragic. It's going to pull out of emotions from your heart. I'm hoping that there will be an adaptation f for this one. Please. Because I'm really excited to watch the adaptation of the of the story. The next one I have here is a Pulitzer Prize winner in 2016 and this one is under the genre thriller. Uh, this is actually my first time to hear or encounter a Pulitzer Prize book for fiction winning a uh, winner that is under the thriller genre. This is The Sympathizer by Viet Tan Nguyen. Next what I have here is the winner of the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction last 2017 and this one was published last 2016. This is Colson Whitehead's The Underground Railroad and I have read this last year and I was kind of disappointed. Out of all the books that won the Pulitzer Prize, this is basically one of those books that or just only one book that made me sad or disappointed. This book was not really for me. It was really dragging. It was really slow. So in case you're wondering what this book is all about, this book is we're going to fa uh, follow our main character. I forgot actually her name. That's how forgettable the book is and also the characters are. Um, she is a slave in the cotton um, plantation in South Carolina and she was exploited. Uh, you know, we have a very... You, I, I, I know you have some ideas how black people are were treated way back in 1980s in US they were treated, uh, treated as slaves they were being sold it was really dragging it was really sad I don't know it was not really for me but it delivers a lot of very um relevant and um topics that people needs to learn and apply in their lives in today's society but yeah with the writing style, with the pacing, with the prose, it was confusing and I did not really enjoy. I was not actually really technical while reading this one. I just really want to finish this um, and enjoy it as much as possible. But no, it did not really work. The next book I uh, have here is the winner for the Pulitzer Prize in 2018. This was published last 2017 and this one I have read last year also and I really love it actually it made uh, this book made it to my 10 best books I've read in 2020 and this is less by Andrew Sean Greer I know some of you guys are not going to uh, who have read this will not agree that this book is amazing it all boils down it all boils down to preference and I fell in the side where I really love and was really, really admiring this book and the story. This is actually very character driven as we're following Arthur Les, our main character. He is uh, an old gay single guy who is turning 50 years old and he is very anxious about all the things that is happening in his life when he gets to 50. He is still single, he's afraid of growing old all by himself. And he is afraid of growing old without someone taking care of him. So when he received an invitation from his ex, which is 25 years younger than, younger than him, for his ex-wedding, he tried to make himself happy because apparently he was still not able to move on from their relationship. And yeah, as one of his ways to prepare himself to attend his ex-wedding, he arranged himself to this trip around the world by accepting some invitations to speak on literary prizes or to speak uh, how to write a book, what it, what it means to be a writer uh, in this fictional world set by the author because Arthur Les is also a writer uh, in the story. 
it's really Next book I have here is the winner for the Pulitzer Prize in 2019 and this one was published in 2018 and this is The Overstory by Richard Powers and I also have any don't any don't have any idea what this book is all about. I recently got this a couple of weeks ago. I got this from Bakulid Bookshop also and it is brand new for around 300 pesos I think. At this time, thank you so much for this. It's hmm. now we're down to the last book that I have here on my collection, and this is the newest and the latest winner for Pulitzer Prize, the Pulitzer Prize winner for fiction in 2020. This was published last 2019, and this is again Coulson Whitehead's The Nickel Boys. And yep. In case the author is familiar, he is the same author who won the Pulitzer Prize last 2017 under the Underground Railroad. So he is one of those people, I think three, there's only three or four of them who won the Pulitzer Prize in fiction more than once. They won twice. And he is one of them. And he just won Pulitzer Prize twice in within five years. So that's amazing. I am having some reservations about this one, but with regards to this one, it's a must read because this is actually my latest read and I just finished this yesterday. And this is uh, the main reason that uh, I made this video because I'll, I need to inspire people to pick Pulitzer Prize because of this book. Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead is superb. A young adult, which shocked me because I thought it's going to be under adult category but this is actually a young adult contemporary literary fiction not a historical fiction because it happened in 1960s in case you don't know in order for a book to be categorized or under the genre historical fiction it ma the story should happen on or before World War II so this one is 1960s and World War II around, is around 1940s so this is not considered as historical fiction but in case you're wondering what this book is all about, we're following our two main characters. We have Elwood and Turner. These boys were relocated in the Nickel, uh, the Nickel School, which is the Nickel School is a, uh, a school for reforming boys who are very problematic in the society. This book is going to make you angry for the first half, and it's going to make you cry. It's going to make you angry and it's going to make you shout. There will be a lot of violent emotions that will come out from you while reading this. Especially the ending. This is not a spoiler. The ending is probably one of the best ending I have encountered in my entire life. For all of the books I've read. The ending for this one left me speechless. Like all I said yesterday after reading this was holy macaroni holy macaroni stuff like that it was thank you so much guys for watching it's me again joe you beside reader and in case you have some favorites uh or favorite books that you've read that won the pulitzer prize for fiction i want to hear you guys just leave some comments below uh, tell me what are your favorite um, books at won the Pulitzer Prize and yeah if you like this video please click the like button uh, share it to your friends and hmm. bye bye and happy Monday